Hey guys, I'm Simantoski, and welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. We are uh, right here was outside. It the I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was. The last episode, we him. figured out who the girl well, was. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Hmm. Where do we go first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, I think I would want to go to Lawrence. I don't really care much about Toad. He's kind of a jerk. And someone's just going through the stuff. Anyway, in the last episode, we figured out who the girl was. Her name is Faith, and she's like the donkey daughter or something. <laughs> anyway, let's go, let's go to Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Hmm. This seems more interesting. Like, there's a knife and dude could be dead. Early morning. Lawrence's his apartment. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife that's covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. I can. Pretty sure he's dead. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Huh, I guess the door's locked. Come on, help me up. Yeah, this guy's definitely dead. Shot, looks like. Oh god. We're too late. That makes two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? It's been dead for a while. I don't know, Snow. Okay, let's look at the knife. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Let's touch it. Touch the blood. Is it dry? Still a little sticky. Hmm. Kind of weird. Look at the door now. No, I'm still checking this out. Look at him. Dry. It's like he was dead and someone came here and then killed her. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. <laughs> Still at me. Damn. That's dry, the blood on the floor is sticky. So they died at different times. Really look peaceful, do they? I 
wouldn't know. wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Mm. That's weird. Seems like sh maybe she killed him. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Alright, alright. The fan is... That doesn't really help. Don't you sass me. All right. There's a bullet hole in the wall. Bullet hole used with gun, huh? All right. Why is it up there? Snow, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is... feels strange. What are you thinking? The slug should have gone over there, right behind him. Not here. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe he did himself. Are they really short? Or we don't have the whole story. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Okay, this should be a bed, right? Son of a... Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your so devotion. He did himself. Words. Supposedly. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She... came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been... Separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. You probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least, that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. 
I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me, without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. She's dead. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Your wife is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. What? Stop telling me... Fuck, Georgie. Stop telling me half stuff and just tell me what's up. Georgie. Georgie Armani? Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case. An investigator? What is he doing? Where's my wife, you motherfucker? Hey, listen. You don't want to do this, man. What did you do with my wife? I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I'm just a guy looking for answers too. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I could have caught him if I'd have jumped out. Probably would have got stuck anyway and he'd be running no matter what. Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Oh, poor guy. Keep, keep, keep. Same side here. You 
Son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, no. it'd be much easier for you no. to... No. I'm D. He's dumb. Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Twiddle Dee and Twiddle Dude. Dumb. God. Go back to the woodsman apartment. Anyway, we'll go ahead and pause it here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you guys next time. Stay toasty, my friends.